Well, shooting sporting clays is a little more difficult than it looks. If you don't believe me, you will in a couple of minutes. But one 16-year-old made it look easy, hitting 95 out of 100 targets at state. Tom Giles has more. If you've been around the Sporting Clays community, you've probably learned about the rise of Connor Nicola. I was a state champion in Sporting Clays, and I was a state champion in trap shooting. And then over the past three days, I shot better at ski, and I took the whole thing. So I'm a Washington State champion. The 16-year-old junior at Reardon High School has been shooting since he was 12 with hopes of joining the Air Force team and maybe even representing the United States. I mean, my big dream is to be in the Olympics, but <laughs> that's a pretty big thing. That'd be, that'd be neat if, if I could even shoot on the Air Force's team. Connor's father, Eric, also doubles as his high school football coach at Reardon. But out at Double Barrel Ranch, it's Connor doing most of the advising. You know, and I coach him enough during the football season that I don't want to interfere with the sport that he's taken on on his own. And so I sit back and watch him. And when I shoot, he's actually giving me pointers. And so yeah, he's a great shot, and he's becoming a pretty good coach with it, too. And there's no one Connor has coached up more than his 13-year-old brother, Riley, who's become a pretty good shot himself. I nudged him a little bit, saying, you need to be out here with me. That, that'd be so cool one of these days that everybody is afraid of the Nikola tag team. And we're coming and just blow everybody out of the water. Oh, yeah, that would be really cool. Everybody quivering in fear, the two Nikola brothers. And Riley doesn't just plan on joining his brother. He's already thinking about surpassing him. Oh, I think he's getting nervous. He, I'm coming up, and he better watch his back. I might get him. He's learning, and uh, he just, I think he idolizes his older brother and wants to, you know, uh, follow in his footsteps. Now, obviously, the Nicolas are experts at this by now, but what happens when you bring out a couple of amateurs to try out sporting clays? If you're loose on the gun, it's going to come back and kind of smack you, and it's not going to be pretty. Definitely behind the second one. Keith also found mild success hitting a few birds. I got the first one. Yeah, you got, got the it. first one. You got the first one. Yours truly? Let's just say it took a lot of patience from the Nicolas and a lot of shells to finally get a bird. Connor had to give you some pointers, and you guys, I think you guys did really good for beginners. There's a couple stations you need improving on, but you guys did pretty good for first time out here. I hope you found it, um, <laughs> some joy in it. it was, it's a lot of fun to be out here and shoot. Even if you're missing a lot, it's still fun to be shooting at the birds. There's more room for improvement. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that no one's going to be fearing the 700 ESPN team, but as for that Nikola tag team, they look pretty good. From Double Barrel Ranch in Rockford, Tom Giles, 700 ESPN.